man, it's your boy Heater 22. And your boy God Tussle. And we're back at it again with another fire reaction to Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Brotherhood. We're on episode three. Last episode, we got a backstory on why the Elrics are the way that they are. Two young, inspiring alchemists, very talented. They try to bring back Mom Dukes because Pops weren't in their life. She passed and they're trying human transmutation. Well, they dive into that world and got ahead of themselves. Edward lost his leg. Uh, Alphonse lost his body. Um, they brought back a crispy, cooked up mom. Not what they were expecting. And in order to get Alphonse's soul at least geared back to the armor, to be meshed with the armor, he had to uh, sacrifice his own pretty much. So it was a dope episode, really deep. Definitely looking forward to this one. But before we get into it, gotta give a big shout out to the big homie, Damn, Damn, Legends. Legends. Hey, we appreciate your brother. One of the newest members of the League of Legends on Patreon. And he's definitely a legend. And God he's a beast on those sticks too. You know, he's you, pretty man. smooth on that Fortnite. So mm -hmm. we appreciate your pledge, bro. Thanks means a lot. Also, be sure to hit that like button. Yes. Be sure to subscribe if you're brand new. Please. For full length reactions or early reactions, you can check us out on our Patreon. Thanks. I'm not for the talk. Let's jump into the sauce. <laughs> Well, I should be spitting on bars, bro. You see, he is. Those who have lost their way, the sun god Nito shall shine. So, what are you guys like street performers or something? Street performers to you. <laughs> Dude, just sitting there. Down the <laughs> that was good, bro. Yeah. What you talk about, little homie? Hey, easy. I didn't mean nothing by it. Sorry, accident. We'll fix it. How's that? <laughs> I'm not normally 6'11. Forgive me. Uh oh. You know, a little alchemy, bro. A little sorcery. So I broke it. I can fix it. Good as new. We're the Elric brothers. The Elric brothers. <laughs> Oh man, they yeah, out here, brother. <laughs> he looking at his <laughs> little effect. Uh, <laughs> it's really not me, the though. Guy. I'm not the full metal one. Always oh, uh, like the kid, the little guy there. His miracles are proof that what he says is true. Father Cornello. <laughs> Something majestic. Mm -hmm. That's it, huh? What do you think? There's nothing to think. That's alchemy, no doubt about it. That's what we're already seeing the Philosopher's Stone crumble. Talk about from uh, Isaacs? Yeah. Please bring him back. So this is the almighty Leto. Welcome. Are you interested in Letoism? Yep, can't say I am. <laughs> and Letoism? <laughs> well, I'm sorry to hear that. Water, 35 liters. Carbon, 20 kilograms. Ammonia, 4 liters. Lime, 1.5 kilograms. Phosphorus, 800 grams. Salt, 250 grams. Saltpeter, 100 grams. And That's the ingredients to, to bring his mom back. Probably the human transmutation. That list mm -hmm. represents the complete chemical makeup of the human body for the average adult. It's been calculated to the last microgram. Sheesh to the last microgram. As it turns out, humans are pretty cheap. That's blasphemy. People are we are all children of God, created in his image. You have to understand that alchemists are scientists. We don't believe in unprovable concepts like creators or gods. We observe the physical laws that govern this world to try to learn the truth. Well, he was definitely down there with a, a spiritual savage that took his right. his leg, my Can't guy. Prove the dude. Plus, he was like, "You can do it with the philosopher stone." I'm sorry, Miss. Right, you're right. <laughs> Simmer down, Edward. Do you think your father could even save an arrogant scientist like me? Of course, that's wonderful. If anyone can lead you to the Creator's light, he can. Father Cornello, there are visitors here who wish to see. 
child and a man wearing a suit of armor. They would only give their names as the elder brother. A child and a man wearing a suit of armor. It's messed up. Yes. You're sure you threw shade on him. We'll make this quick. Oh, the two brother in the church? Oh. Oh. Brother Craig. These heathens have come to ensnare and discredit the father. They're evil. This is God's will. Brother Craig. Well, like you said, let's make this quick. Come out, get off me. Real quick. Simmer down, fellas. Pow! Uh, you show, young man. You done got punched in the face with a gun in your hand. You're a Where are you going? Oh, man, he fell on his head. Yeah, Simpleton. This mm -hmm. Have you come to learn the ways of Leto? Well, there are a few things I'm curious about. Like how you've been using second-rate alchemy to deceive your followers. Mm -hmm. Second-rate. boy, I don't know what you mean. What your doubting eyes see as alchemy are the miracles of the sun god Leto. Look again. Could mere alchemy create something from nothing in this way? That would explain everything. Oh, yeah, stone. Mm -hmm. about the Philosopher's Stone. That ring, bro, man. Yeah. I've been looking for that. The ring is just a ring. That gun there beside you, pick it up. Uh, okay. Oh, dang. Oh, you know that ain't right, ma'am. Now, child, I want you to shoot the full metal alchemist. No, I... I can't do that. I am the son <laughs> She's a wholesome girl, bro. My word is the word of Leto itself. Leto the sun god? It's God's will. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, I'm not even the full metal alchemist. Damn it, I'm the full metal alchemist. Put the gun at thou. Oh. Dang. False prophet Cornello. Dang. Oh. God, Leto is pleased you have done well, my child. He blew his hair right off. Got to shoot the other as well. Haven't you made her do enough already? Right, you sick bastard. Yeah. Your head. I thought you were. Don't worry about it. He's pretty solid. Yeah. See, no harm done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm straight thugging. Come here. Oh, like a Komodo dragon and a lion mix. Oh no. Oh yeah, we out here. Something slight. No transmutation circle. So the state alchemist time isn't just for show. You truly are gifted. Yeah. Seem to know a lot about the transmutation circles and lack thereof. Oh. Oh, that's the leg that's got the uh, metal. That would have hurt. <laughs> and that's my good arm right here, brother. Bow. Come down here and try me. I'll show you real quick who the novice is. Old metal alchemist. Mm. Dang, bro, he creating abominations with the uh. Why don't you come down here and try stone. me? I'll show you real quick who the novice is. Rose, this is the price of their sin. These fools attempted human transmutation. The greatest taboo for any alchemist. In their arrogance, they tried to bring someone dead back to life. He thought he could touch the sun, but when he got too close, his wings melted and he came crashing back down to Earth. You're just a phony that can't do anything without a Philosopher's Stone! Right, run it. Hey, brother. <laughs> All right, brother, come on. Head over the stone. Hydro, please. For yourself, please. If you fools are really so eager to play God, then perhaps I should send you to beat him instead! Oh! Turn it into a Lewis! Oh, he's trying to kill him. You gonna shoot at Rose, though? Right. Oh, we just make instant mm, doors. Making doors? Just come quietly. We don't have Simmer to down, fellas. <laughs> Slight work. You uh. don't want none of that. Yeah. <laughs> Out of there. Don't go easy just because he's a kid. You got that? For real. Shut your mouth. Hmm. Dang, bro. They're having a blast with it. Face That's down, butt in the air. That's tough. Right. Right. He tried to take your life. They went into that realm, though, bro. Yeah. To that spirit realm. Into the matrix. <laughs> For real. The entirety. Do you see it? My brother drew that with his own blood. 
now. I just want to help him get his body back the way it was. He wants to find a way to get me back to normal, too. It won't be easy. We might even get killed along the way. There you are, you infernal brat! Mm, Look, chilling in the office. The crap and talk here? Why waste all that power performing phony miracles? Because with each miracle, I can attract new believers to the Order. Believers who would lay down their lives for my sake. I'm slowly building an army, a legion of holy warriors, unafraid to die. Mm. In a few more years, I'll be ready to unleash this mindless horde upon the world. <laughs> Microphone. Oh. Was that broadcasted to the, uh, to the populace? Oh, dang. Oh, I thought that was a bell he had right there. I thought it was a bell, too. Yeah, he's, he's speaking. Probably, I think he turned the bell into a big... Oh, might have heard, yeah. Mm. You're outclassed here. I am without rival. We about to shoot oh, out of it. Turn into a bazooka. Oh. oh. It's a rebound. No, I won't be disgraced like this. Oh, he wasn't expecting no. it to happen that? like that. Behold. It rebounded. Oh, oh dang. Oh, we got some oh, games, We got some strength, himself. right? My fist is the almighty fist of judgment. Oh, yeah. Fist of God, huh? Well, if that's what you want, you can have it. Oh, oh bow. Oh, oh. The fist of God, oh, right? I can't touch nothing. <laughs> He said, if that's what you want, you can have it. The fist of God. He tried him. Oh, oh you broke it. Did just like uh, Isaac's. How did it just break like that? I don't know. I don't know anything about it. Spare me, please. I was wrong. Please. Oh, I my bad, you. bro. Now he a real hoe right now. I'm mm -hmm. helpless without the stone. So I'm helpless. For this one possible chance, and it's a fake. I'm sorry, Al. For a while there, I thought we'd really found a way to get your body back. Give me the Philosopher's Stone. Rose. Simmer down, Rose. Like I was just saying, it was a fake. It wasn't real. Besides, it's shattered now. Liar! You want to keep it for yourself, don't you? So you can use it on your bodies. That's right. And so you can try to bring your mother back again. Why do you care about? Damn, yeah, Alfonso was talking. People don't come back from the dead, Rose. Tell me what to do. Please. We ain't got nothing for you, man. They're gonna walk right past. I can't tell you that. You have to figure it out. That damn brat, it's all ruined. Everything I worked for. Yes, all that hard work for nothing. Uh -huh. I knew we should have just incited a little rebellion. You. I'm hungry, last. Can I eat the old man, please? He's big and fat. Oh, oh gosh. We don't want you giving yourself indigestion. Now you mm. tell everyone is mock me. I won't stand for Oh, he went to give me your life. Bow from over there. Yikes. I'd say this concludes our business. Father won't be pleased. Oh, God, he can't help himself. Bruh, indigestion. Oh, he he's just, he's hungry. Quite savage. So you had Father Canelo out there finessing everybody with the false teachings and the sorceries. Uh, claiming to be doing miracles from, you know, getting power from Sun God Leto. But the whole time he was using what Edward classified as a second rate alchemy with a philosopher's stone. That was giving him some type of power, but not a real stone because it was it just broke and broke up again. Cause he said the philosopher's stone supposed to be like Pure impenetrable. Material, yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Supposed to, you're not supposed to be able to, uh, you know, destroy it or whatever. But it was still giving him yeah, the say, capability yeah. of what, what he was spotted out was like, you know, it wasn't, there was no equivalent exchange taking place. So he was taking a, uh, something of small or it looked like he just clapped his hands together and had a little statue ready, you know what I mean? So turn a little a live flowers into a dead jewel flower. And whenever Isaac's joint disappeared in the first episode, like old girl could tell like, oh, Isaac I guess was doing too much, you know what I mean, got ahead of himself. 
Because he successfully uh, the one that just killed uh, Car Carnello just now. Yeah. The chick, she got some, some sauce. But it seemed like she's distributing those out or something like these, like replicas of Philosopher's Stones. She faking everybody out. And then she said everybody. father's not going to be pleased, so maybe that's the heavy hitter, her dad. You're right. And she's in charge of handling the mission. Because she's a savage. She just right. hit him with a, with, a, with, a, with a needle from across the room through your brain. Yeah, that was vicious, bro. She hit him with that, uh, yeah. like, Predator. Give not Predator, you. the uh, Terminator 2, Judgment Day, the cop, the liquid cop. Oh, uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? From a distance. Oh, yeah. That was that was vicious. Oh, God. Uh, You're right. So that was beastly. And then bro, man, glutton. She <laughs> Listen, don't don't even dare think about eating Carnello. He's he's unhealthy. He's, he's got so SARS. Funny. You don't want I need digestion. The old man, he big and fat. <laughs> he looks so tasty. No homo. That sounds terrible. I'll never say that again in my life. <laughs> never. But uh, man, he got the snacking though, and he had a, a transmutation circle on his tongue. She had hers on her, her chest. Yeah, yeah. So she's got some sauce, some savagery. So ultimately. That's what they was looking for, though, was that transmutation circle. I'm, I'm tripping. They were looking for the, the Philosopher's Stone. Because they believe, listen, we ain't going to try to bring back Mom Dukes no Until more. Until we get uh, some, some, some equipment to help us. I don't even this. think they would want to attempt human transmutation anymore. I mean, now it's like their number saw. one primary goal is, all right, let's Getting get our, our body bodies back. back. Right. All right, can we at least dig enough within this, you know, we need to attain this Philosopher's Stone to get our bodies back. They're going to bring seems pretty, somebody arms back. They're going to need an extra arm, a leg. And a whole other child around a uh, 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 little brother's size in order to get their body back. Oh, you talking about for an equivalent exchange? <laughs> yeah, to pop off? I mean, what you gonna do? Chop off somebody's arm? But that's why I guess they're looking for the real Philosopher's Stone. Because remember when the, when the entity took Edward through the Matrix? Yeah. And before he came back, you know what I mean? Uh, he went to go back through the doors. He's like, hold on. I saw uh, that there is a way to complete it. Oh, when he went through the whole little The whole little nature. You saw all the information. Yeah, we learned everything or whatever. We got a quick glimpse of, I guess, all of the information that's needed or the information of humanity that he saw and spotted, you know, oh, or maybe lots there is stone. a way. You know, maybe yeah. there is a way. There is a way to actually make this happen. So what they, they obviously the philosopher's stone helps them kind of ignore the, the laws of equivalent exchange. So if you have that mixed in with all the calculations that they did yeah, they might, to they, bring back the crispy mother, then, you know, yeah. they might just be able to have enough sauce to... Bring back the soul. To bring back, yeah, Alphonse's body. Yeah, Alphonse's body. And, and, and his arm and leg. We can only hope. But Father Carnello was out there. Bro, he turned the cane into uh, Lewis. <laughs> yeah, he did. He had a little abominable... Abomination yeah, he, of the he, line. He really, really his arm and leg back though, because it just saved his life with against that big old line that tried to chew off his I, arm and leg. I mean, geez. I guess he just want to live a regular life after he get the sauce back. You know, after he gets his body back. What's his goal? That's why would he? Nah, ain't a living no. Dude, dude, clap his hands and pull spears at the ground and. What well, I already say, remember. Earth uh, bends walls up in front of bullets. You know what I'm saying? Who, was, who, who uh, wants to give that up? Much thing was <laughs> well. I mean, naturally they were already well-versed alchemists to begin with. Like, they were already ahead of the time. Everybody knew that, all right, the Elrics, they get it in. Mm -hmm. uh, these little young boys got the sauce. That's when Mustang came to go see what all the fuss was about, and that's when he saw the they took crispy mom and yeah. the transmutation circle and the blood, and, and Grandma had them back at the hideout. You know, they were hurting. But ultimately, I think they realized that they was just playing. You know, he felt just like the analogy he gave, you know, had the wings going all the way up to the sun till it was burned and he fell back to earth. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what they felt like. We got enough juice to make this happen to bring back mom. And they failed. You know, they failed. Failed miserably. So. It wasn't worth the cost. They brought back mom, but... <laughs> there was some tough stuff in there, though, boy. Yeah. It was deep. That was a deep episode. Yeah. Concerning with the, the religion of... Uh, whatever Cornello was preaching, the, the sun god, Leto. That was a, that was a vicious episode. Rose was hurt. She was devastated because he promised to to bring back her husband after I mean, the car wreck. Shoot. If he could, then he would have already done it already, boo. Duh. <laughs> By now, right? Duh. How much more? How much more Rose need to do? I shoot. Mean, shoot! You gotta shoot people to get your husband back or whatever, man. Come on, girl. Do I know, better. right? Taught her to pick up the tool, shoot the full metal, in which everybody, of course, still gravitates towards Alphonse in the armor. Does, you got look, you look the part, bro. You he got looks the like full a metal. full metal. Because it's covered in yeah, full metal. He's, he's, you know what I'm saying? Full metal, metal armor. Dude, yeah. So, uh, dope episode. Mm. But it looked like that was pretty uh, deflated, though. Because he was like, we risked our whole life and 
yada 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 just to get to this point and it's fixed to get now. to this philosopher's stone and it turns out it, it ain't even got the sauce it has some sauce though it has some like i said he was he was ignoring the laws of equivalent exchange turned into a big old hulk what he say he said he the hand of the uh sun god Lido, mm -hmm. and he said that's what you want i got you made a uh, hit the a alchemy hand. on the statue and a hand came down Dang. He's saucy. You just gotta, you gotta tie that man up and kill him touch nothing. Cause whatever he touches, he can turn into a weapon. And the fact he ain't gotta have no transmutation circle to make it all pop no off. circles, yeah. He just, he just goes straight into the sauce. Yeah. That's why he's so dangerous. Yeah, he's out there. I understand, man. Edward's out there, so. Dope episode, man. On to the next one. Holla at sure. your boys. Peace. Peace.